right, welcome back to Crypt Couch. I am Michael. And I'm, what was his name, Blurth? Belf. Belf. <laughs> Belf. <laughs> I'm Belf. <laughs> so, uh, this is interesting when you reset it. Uh, it does actually just yeah. ha- just had this password in here. I presume I presume because it probably loaded it into the temporary memory or like the, you know, because like when you turn the game off, like with like computers, it just there's no power in the memory, right? So it all just dumps. Mm-hmm. They probably like loaded it in here, which is very convenient because it meant that I didn't have to go fucking yeah type every- it didn't just yeah I didn't have to type everything in yeah because that's kind of a long code actually. Did they have to make it that long? Um, okay, so, I don't know the underlying mechanics of passwords at large. Okay. Um, sometimes Only it's... that I can never remember them. Yeah, well, sometimes it's, like, as simple as, like, they're basically just using kind of, like, hex code to, like, trip stuff. Sure, basically, yeah. like, all of these letters represent some flag in the game, yeah. which is why you tend to see them in, like, blocks of, like, eight... Um, but like like Metroid, I believe. Oh, so we've got now the ultimate whoa, gargoyle whoa. form. Can we see it? Yeah. Oh hell yeah! So it's... we have a different type of shot now. <laughs> so here's the cool thing about this guy. Let me finish the password thing. Sure. Like Metroid would use, I think it used like four blocks of eight or something like that. Um, basically, a lot of times those passwords are just flagging different things that you have, which is also why when you use passwords in old games, a lot of times it won't like. You'll have, say, a bunch of potion bottles, but the potions themselves won't be full. Um, Or like in Mega Man, in the original Mega Man games, uh, you would have all of the bosses beaten and their powers, but you wouldn't have energy tanks necessarily Mm. um, because they're not flagging for that level of stuff. So it's going to vary slightly from game to game. Yeah. Okay, so... This is look a at, look at this little bisexual demon. Look at him. <laughs> <laughs> Not, he need pink in there, I think. But <laughs> I like everything. Do you have dick? Do you have tits? I don't care. <laughs> uh, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that, that, that was like a that was like a timed reaction. <laughs> 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 you have dick. You have tits. I don't care. That's just, I love like the concept of a little goblin monster <laughs> saying that. <laughs> Whatever you got, we'll figure it out. <laughs> so, the cool thing about this guy is you have all of the abilities. So oh, you can charge. Shit. Now, you, you have to hold up and hit the button because it's the same command button for like all the special shit. So, like, but you can still headbutt with up. Okay. Uh, fly when I fly. Too. Oh, he's faster too. And I can swim underwater, and I can like I have the charge underwater as well. So he really is the like infinity demon. Yeah, like okay. he is. This is the ultimate gargoyle. Oh, you have man, everything. Um, we do, however, still need to fill up our ginsengs. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I have the power of all, except I need, money. I need some tea <laughs> because because even demons can be poor. What's up, bitch? Hey, you're the one that defeated Phalanx, aren't you? I owe you my thanks because I did not like the laws we were forced to keep. No offense, but demons shouldn't have the power to rule, you know what I mean? Bud? D- down with the monarchy is what I say. <laughs> what? I, do you think I don't have the power to rule? Like, not that I want to rule, He's okay? He's just trying like, to get you to, like, install some sort of, like, democratic process. I mean, that's fair. and Like, I am all for that. I'm just, really, I'm just questioning the logic of, like, If I had the power to obliterate Phalanx, (laughs) why do you think I don't have the power to rule? I'm not saying I will, but... (laughs) But but my options are options, is what I'm saying. Yeah, like, I could. (laughs) Yeah. I forgot to equip the... uh, Extra money. Yeah, the extra money one, because we are going to need... Oh, so we're going to be doing this for a minute, is what... It's fine. It depends on how poorly I do. (laughs) Uh, Okay, okay. Um, Well, hopefully... Everybody's cool. Just hang with us for a minute. Well, you can yeah, see we'll, we'll do see. a little bit of grinding. It's not the most exciting thing, but uh, who doesn't love breaking a window? Yeah, we're, we're going to start here. We're going to get some money. Um, we're going to uh, respawn all the windows because the glass makers in this town work really quickly. Um, I mean, I mean, with Firebrand around, you'd kind of have that, to. You know, that, intro, that was a good window. Yeah. So are you technically robbing people? We kind of talked about this a couple of episodes back not, where, look, where it was guys. just like, uh, 
where it was just like, I think I think our conclusion was people are just throwing their money out the windows to get us to go the fuck away. <laughs> He's charmed by the power of money. As are Maybe if we just gave him our life savings, he'll stop. Reminds me of, I don't know, I don't keep up with comics, but there was a strip of like Spider-Man being sad, but like Tony Stark coming to like recruit him to something. And Tony Stark's like, it's okay, we've got money. And Spider-Man's just like, oh, thank God. <laughs> <laughs> nah, the, uh, because uh, I, yeah, I do slightly remember talking about, you know, like with Zelda and the rocks and stuff too. So. I actually do, this is neither here nor there, but I haven't been someone who played a lot of MMOs and stuff. Uh, I do appreciate when a game, like, I don't know how to put this any other way. It doesn't give you trash loot. It just gives you, like, the coinage, basically. Yeah. And then just has 100%. the economy. Like, now, this, this isn't in the context of this game. Just, that was such a big fad for a while. Uh, it is a, it's that line between, like, the realism of role playing and, like, I, I feel like I am less bothered by it in like single player role playing games because a lot of times they will be convenient about it they'll just give you like a you know and I think Cyberpunk 2077 does this where it's just like here sell all the garbage yeah yeah but also in single player games their restriction of your inventory space is it's less cumbersome uh, in the sense that like if I am playing a multiplayer game an MMO, part of why they're doing that is to force me to, like, manage what's in my inventory over time for a variety of reasons. And they're also trying to, like, figure out limiting the economy between real players. And um, it, it's, it feels worse in MMOs because it's, like, it's made to be worse, kind of, by default. So, yeah, I, I mean, all that to say, I agree with the you. The Cyberpunk 2077 thing's funny because I remember early on there's a perk you can get where it just dismantles any trash loot. Yeah, you pick up. it's like you Ex immediately take except that. Except the trash loot that's actually like worth right. some some eddies or whatever. Um, and <laughs> I love it because anytime you dismantle something, you get like a little smidge of experience. So you're just running through trash loot and stuff, just getting free experience <laughs> as you're dismantling it. it was, yeah. Uh, it was just a great perk. <laughs> but Well, also, that game kind of, like, goes out of its way to give you an obscene amount of, like, carry capacity very fast. Oh, like, very much so. It's like you can carry, like, whatever, 200 units of weight to begin with, and, like, yeah. right out the gate, you can bump that up to, you know, yeah, like, 250. I, three, I don't like, remember hardly ever having carry capacity issues in that game. Like, every now and then, I'd be like, oh, I have 90 guns in my inventory. Whoops. Yeah. You know, that, that kind of reminds me of... Uh, uh, I thought Fallout 4 did a good job of that too because all the trash loot you could take back to your home and then those became like crafting materials for you. Oh, you've got a good amount of gold now. Oh yeah, that crown makes things go real fast. Cool. On with the show. And that's everything. Cool. One thing I don't think I ever did was showcase any of the magic and I don't know that it matters. Um, I don't know. Hey guys. There's a reason to play the game. Go check out magic. I mean, I could. <laughs> I actually don't remember what a lot of the magic does, but as I recall, it's not super useful a lot of the times. Like, there are certain circumstances. Um, you're, you're not much like of an item user in a lot of games. or, or like It depends on the usefulness, but you're right. Like, I definitely fit that. Uh, I saw, like, a TikTok about, like, uh, like someone with ADHD, like, like playing an RPG and it was like I need to save all of these items till the very end of the game in case I might need them all and then I don't use them all and beat the game see I think I used to be that way but like cause like like uh, I just started up a Bloodborne it's October I usually play through Bloodborne at least like once a year like at minimum um, and I just started up a, oh, actually I'll make a mention of something that happened last night that I was I you know me I don't get too frustrated but um, the uh, while I riff here, Michael's gonna go check on something. So, anyways, um, the <laughs> uh, the thing I wanted to mention real quick was 
uh, you've played Bloodborne, and for anybody listening, if you've played Bloodborne, one of the easiest bosses in the game, if you recall, and I wonder if you think this too, the little witches at the end of like uh, Hemwick Carnal Lane or whatever. Oh, it's been so long. Okay, not a hard boss. I have, in all of my playthroughs of this game, I've probably beaten the game probably like ten times or maybe like something like that. Um, I have never even died on that boss. Mm-hmm. I died three times on that <laughs> boss last night. Like, everything was going wrong. <laughs> like, I, I literally even had a moment I scared my cat off the couch because I was like, you know, normally I'm pretty chill. I'll laugh off a death. And it's like, ah, that's that's Bloodborne. But there was actually a moment where I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I have never lost to this boss ever. <laughs> and it just killed me three times over. But uh, I was bringing that up because, like, um, those games especially, like, man – I'll use the shit out of items because they make that game so much easier. That is true. That Those <laughs> games are built with that way more in mind. I mean, all the Souls games really lean into that, like, RPG, like, use your items to buff sort of mentality. Yeah. So I want to point something out here. What up? So this, like, preamble area, there's not, like, a full level before uh, this boss, but they very cleverly put... Beat. And you saw me, like crash through the statues, jump in the water. This, if you walk in here in your ultimate demon form, you may not know that this demon form can do all of that stuff. It's forcing you to see it. it. Yeah, if you stay in this form, it will absolutely dump you in here and see here you have to actually fly up. That's a, that's a Mega Man X stuff right there. Yeah, I mean, it's Capcom. So here's, here's what we're going to kind of... Yeah. You go, Capcom. <laughs> We're going to start this off. This first attempt, I am not going to actually, like, I'm not going to heal because I want to just look at the boss. You've never uh, seen this. I have. I've oh, been okay. here before. Okay. I just haven't beaten it. Um, <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> but I want I want people to be able to see this boss and see some of the wild crap. So here's. So what's the context of whatever this is? I don't. I think you get a little bit of context maybe in the ending. So, like, there's this piece. Is he the keeper of time? I'm sorry, he, you just have a ball that follows you now? He's you can break it, but it they just keep coming back. Oh. Um, it's like herpes. Yeah, speaking from experience there, bud. No. And then he changes into, he, so he's got this form as well. Now, this seems like, this is actually kind of like the safe zone to attack him from. Well, safe-ish. So is, are you actually like on a second phase here? Or can he, like, no, he flips back, back and, and forth. Um. And there's a... So he... I'm going to die here. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> but again, I just wanted to show... There's pieces of this we haven't seen. Because what will also happen is... These walls will go away over time. Like, he'll be able to dissolve them. Uh, oh, like the boundaries of the level? Yes. Uh, so they'll become spikes, so you can no longer just like <laughs> get fucked. Yeah, yeah okay. that you can no longer just hang on the walls. Uh, there's also a thing that he does in this form that we haven't seen yet, where he like does like a blood waterfall. Here, he's about to do it, and blood you. Water. Oh, and, my goodness! And it will hurt you. That's a dope effect, though. Yeah. How did they do that? I mean, just layer overlays, essentially. It's the same way you would, like, I mean, it's just got a transparency on it. Yeah, and it was just, it tracked him so well. That that surprised me, I guess I'll say. So this guy, I believe, takes, if you were to try and do this with, so first of all, you can't do this with regular Firebrand. I'm also going to die here because we're still kind of just talking through the boss. So yeah. I'll make an earnest attempt on the next one. Um so there's some spikes up there, you see. Oh, okay. Well, you got them a little further that time, then. So um, I believe if you were to use the regular fire, he would take 200 hits to kill. <laughs> Get out of town. Um, now, you the, the regular fire won't hurt him, so your base level damage from this guy is 100 hits. If you use the fang talisman, it's 50. But there is, Jeez. yeah. This guy is no joke. So no wonder he's like an. Would you even call this optional, or would you call this like the ultimate? I mean, that's. Like, is there really a different ending that comes with him? There. 
in Super Nintendo standards, kinda. Like, like, um, I think there's a different, like, ending graphic that you get. You dodged that first one really well, I just want to point out. <laughs> that first boomerang. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> So like right now, like I've switched over. I'm I'm okay taking the fall damage from the rocks, to because I'm gonna take that damage anyway. They don't hurt that badly. Um, there's there is an element of luck to whether or not you can so keep using. I am every time he's flashing. Now when he's going dark like that, I'm not. He's invulnerable at that point. Yeah, that's okay. That's what I was. So I'm actually going to start using potions okay, at this point. Yeah, go for it. Um, once, like, this is technically, like, the safe zone for fighting him. Yeah. Um, You're it, on the wall. But, Can you use the other wall, too? Uh, not really. Like, oh. it's because... <laughs> He's a lefty. Well, he is, actually. He always faces... Oh, the right wall sucks anyway. It's <laughs> yeah, well, so, so that particular form is always facing left, and uh... the... Uh, the boomerangs come out of his back so if you try and use the other wall you're just getting you're like always volleyed. yeah you're always gonna get hit by those boomerangs there's like pretty much not even a chance that they'll miss you he's gonna rang you okay so he's probably gonna blood here so we'll get a shot in and get beneath him what's good little ball we're gonna hang out uh -oh. <laughs> will that like do a lot of damage uh, possibly. Okay, so he's gonna go back to this. Let's flip back to Fang. Smoke. Fuck you, <laughs> you piece of shit. That was bullshit. <laughs> it's okay. I'm getting some good shots in on him, so this. I, you know, when you started talking about the counts, I should have like, I wish I was. Well, so because I'm flipping back and forth between yeah. the Fang and the yeah. armor, you wouldn't be able to keep an accurate hey, count. Hey, let us hit you. Thank you. Well, sometimes it's a, it's an option between like, do I take a boomerang hit or do I, uh, do I let him? Yeah. Well, you've only used one ginseng so far, right? Yeah, I'm. I think you're doing pretty okay. I just say play it safe so you don't accidentally get a death yeah. at this point. Yeah. Well, I mean that was like, so I know roughly like, come on, there we go. Okay, there's another hit. There's another nice. hit. Back to he made like a yeah. sound. He has gas. Oh, that little ball is. So, oh, I say this Ooh, is. Yeah, this baby. gets this gets mean. Ooh, baby. <laughs> that was a lot of damage, unfortunately. Oh, can you not get back up? I can. Those little balls. That little thing is just such a pain. And I mean, there, he always he'll always spawn another one. Yeah, like almost instantly, unfortunately. Okay. So, let's. You know, I mentioned on the crawler boss about, like, I wonder how that one. <laughs> I hate that his name is Crawler. Yeah. He deserved so much of a... I would ginseng. Yeah. I'm gonna. I mentioned, like, how that one affects speedruns. This is another one where, like. It can affect a speedrun. Yeah, I don't even know how you count this guy with a speedrun, because, like. Because you have to start the game over. Mm. Yeah, and so they, this may not actually be included, or because there's the whole reset and you know it puts the code immediately in, there yeah. may be like an attempt at. I mean, sometimes you pause through those times too, kind of like how they discount the like loading times. Yeah. Like, let's get turn this timer off because we're gonna finish this. Yeah, like this is this is gonna be the last episode regardless. Oh, oh my god! Oh shit! Well, I guess I killed him. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man! Nice. <laughs> Oh, there goes my phone. <laughs> well, fuck you, timer. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> the dark demon. Okay. Firebrand slayed the dark demon this time, who had lurked deep within the human world. Okay, so humans. Okay. He Re lived in the human world? <laughs> realizing that his true power was not derived from the crests. It was inside me all along. Just like the crest, wait. Firebrand disposed of all the crests. Okay, look. I thought he already did that. Well, this is like a new ending, I guess. And set forth for the demon realm. This is like the, the true ending. Wait, so we weren't even in the demon realm this whole time? Yeah, we were just in Kentucky. There he, that makes sense. There he hopes to find a true warrior 
This is just the moonshine bubbly. He's like yeah. a warrior with whom he could once again taste ass. Nope. <laughs> glory of battle? Yeah. I mean, depending on the ass, it could be glory of battle. Could be a lot of things. <laughs> the crest oh, okay. of infinity. Which gives you the power to control, you guessed it, infinity. With all six crests. I think this is going to be the exact same ending, but there's a different ending plate. So. <laughs> I dig it. The, I don't know. The the way you were like narrating reminded me of the... Do you remember the Dragon's Crown narrator? Vaguely. It's been a while. Uh, Dragon's Crown. There's like a narrator talking. He's yeah. almost like the dungeon master of that yeah, game. Yeah, Because it's very like D&D inspired. <laughs> I still... I actually just recently played it again. Um, and it reminded me of when you, you kill the, the red dragon. He's like... Go forth with your new title, Dragon Slayer. And there's like <laughs> the guy's cadence when he delivers that line, you you just feel pumped up when he calls you that. You're like, fuck yeah, I slay the I, I am the slayer of dragons. Yeah. So this is the same. I I think it might be the exact same ending, except what? Is it? Uh, may, I don't. I don't remember. We literally <laughs> just watched this. I already don't fucking remember. How to tell you have ADHD? <laughs> Did it show the? I don't remember. No, all it that. didn't show no. this because we were reading out all of the stuff. It did not. Oh. That's okay. Okay. Oh well. <laughs> well, okay. We're so we're gonna get the enemies, but we're also gonna get the gargoyle names, which we didn't know because it didn't tell us immediately. Yeah. <laughs> I still he love has him. organs. Yeah. So, uh, well, first of all, thank y'all for being here yeah. for this victory. Whoever sat through all of this, um, whether it's present or future, or I mean, well, obviously it's going to be future from now, but you, you know what I mean. I'm grateful. Are you, I was gonna, like, what time <laughs> loop are you stuck in over here? All of them. <laughs> Every, my right. entire life is a bootstrap paradox. <laughs> all right, Doctor Manhattan. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm going to just go fuck off to Mars and be naked. <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> I mean, same. Look at him. Look at our little air gargoyle. Yeah, so you get a little... <laughs> hey, remember the game you just played? Here you go. <laughs> yeah. Oh, with the creepy caterpillars. <laughs> the U's. Mm -hmm. A gargoyle. <laughs> yep. I am a gargoyle? I like that Firebrand is like... He has the power to basically end the world, and he's just like, I'm just going to toss these because... That's no fun. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like some other pissant demon can find those and be better than you. I mean, I guess he said, like, his true power was not derived from the crest, but also, having just played through this game, it kind of was. I was going to say, well, that's not quite accurate. Like, I, yeah, we weren't the ultimate gargoyle till you know, Arma, Arma pooped out a gem, and we were just like, I'm going to take this. Did he poop out the gem, or did he become you know, Well, okay, so he pooped out the air, the air one. That's fair. Yeah. Because yeah. that's literally, I think, the name of that episode is Demon Droppings. <laughs> you can tell Skylar watches our channel. <laughs> nope. <laughs> well, that's because well, you were telling me it's like, man, I, that baby powder bit had me rolling when I was editing it. I'm like, baby powder bit? What are you talking about? He <laughs> was like, with the like creepy monster that threw the babies. I was like, oh, we did a baby powder. <laughs> <laughs> Look, guys, I, I check in and then I check back out. <laughs> yeah, like we're fortunate he even remembers how to get home after these sessions. Yeah, <laughs> Just, uh, you know, with all the police out there. <laughs> <laughs> giving him tickets and shit. <laughs> yeah. For driving a normal speed on the on the expressway or the toll yeah. road. Well, we won't get into all that. <laughs> that was that was a couple weeks ago. It, yeah, yeah. yeah. What was this guy's name again? It was like Hithlodeus. Uh, what was it? Hithl that's Final Fantasy XIV, Skylar. Holothurian. Holothurian. I was not far off, though. You were all the letters off, except for the H and the O. You were all the letters off. Look, man, two out of ten, <laughs> it's at least a grade. <laughs> it's a 20. <laughs> it's, it's a failing grade. You know, he might have to scale the test. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> we <laughs> looking forward to editing some of those uh 
edit except oh, the streams. <laughs> Twitch streams, yeah. Well, because that's... Uh, we have a lot of the... I didn't realize we'd been streaming for as long as we have. Yeah. Since, like, there's, like... I think the earliest one was... Oh, God, what was the earliest date on that? Shit. Uh, it's been, like, three months. Yeah, yeah. It was... Yeah, it was uh, uh, July. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, and, hey, by the way, there's a plug. So, like... <laughs> God it, damn it. If, if you're still <laughs> listening to us, which... More power to you. Um, the uh, Twitch.tv slash The Crit Coach, right? Yeah. Is the, the articles in there? Or is it just yeah, the, 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 okay. the, the is always in it, like on all of our Perfect. social media. Um, but uh, right now we're streaming on Thursdays. We might be moving that to Mondays soon, It's all like just if yeah. you're interested, just follow our Twitter because I, I update that there. Like I – well, now that, now that like fucking Melon Husk owns Twitter, who knows? <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> I've never heard that. <laughs> the Melon Husk. Yeah, I think I just lost all the Elon fans, but, you know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, bye. Um, <laughs> the, uh, but, yeah, I mean, I, I keep all that updated there for the time being, so yeah. I link out whenever we're going to stream. I wanna, so I want to get one of those for my yard. The big, the, the big demon the in the big, background? Yeah. Uh, just right in that, the, that big patch right I front. know we've talked about this. You know, we hit on it with the, like, organs. Like, the backgrounds in this game, Support there are so game. many great set pieces. <laughs> I mean, even just, like, this Colosseum, like, there yeah. is a faded crest. Yeah. Like, the lion, like, painted on this Colosseum. And it's such and a tiny... And yeah, stuff, it's dude. such a tiny detail. Like, it's honestly one of Capcom's best looking games from this era I think at least in yeah. terms of the, the console games and the, the, their their graphics are always great we've said it multiple times throughout this series but they really went above and beyond with this one and again for no real reason other than they could because yeah. this was not like a massively marketed series I think the only appearance um, Firebrand has had since this game was in one of the Marvel vs. Capcom games he shows up um He's like an item or something. That shows no, up. no, he's actually a fighter. Red Aramer. Oh, really? Yeah, because we talked about this, I think, at the very beginning. Red Aramer is his Japanese name. Red um, Aramer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? I got fire hair. You gay. Phoenix. Phoenix. Well, we get, I wonder if we'll get the name of the... The Dark Demon? <laughs> yeah. It's probably just going to be the Dark Demon. Uh, you know, fair. So here is the end plate that you get oh, for the the true yeah. ending of the game. <laughs> Dude, Firebrand is fucking jacked. Yeah. What what <laughs> exercise is he doing to get shoulders? Shoulders like that? Like, that? <laughs> like yeah. This yeah. is like lifting beer kegs for yeah. delt raises. Yeah. I, I just work my traps basically nonstop. <laughs> yeah. I can shrug with the best of them. <laughs> I'm just constantly disappointed at life and shrug. <laughs> well, all right. Well, thank you all for coming along on this ride with us. Thank you all for, if you're still here, watching us beat the Dark Demon and sitting through the same credits again from last episode. Um, yeah. I think, is this just going to, is Capcom going to tell us thank you too? No, it's just going to say presented by. Mm -hmm. The crest is different on this screen than it was last time. Because yeah. the last time it had the, like, the infinity, like the birdish oh, kind of yeah, design yeah. on it. And now, uh, it's, now just, it's just down to the presented by. It's just empty now. We did it. Yeah. Well, thank you all, and uh, we'll see you in the next episode. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you all right? Yeah. <laughs> That's a, <laughs> and the dismount. <laughs>